It's Harry Owens, Mr. Ewing. What can I do for you? Harry, how long will it take to get Ewing 23 back in operation? Oh, a month, uh, give or take a few days. I want it operating at full capacity in a week. Do you mind if I ask, is uh, this JR's idea? No, Harry, this is my idea, as president of Ewing Oil. I see. Suppose we do get Ewing 23 operating again. You will. What do you expect to refine? We'd been using a uh, Fairbridge refinery, you know, back when we were producing out here. But Fairbridge is running at full capacity right now. Well, can't we use another refinery? There's Mainwaring, but there is no way they'll do business with Ewing Oil. Old man Mainwaring, he doesn't think much of JR. Daddy always said we needed our own refinery. You want me to hold off? No, not on your life. I want that field in operation fast. You keep me posted. Anything you can't handle, I will. Those young brothers that get together. Breakfast this morning, Ralph. Morning, Dad. Hey, morning, Jerry. How you feeling today? Fine. Mama. Yeah. <laughs> well. Well, I'm all set for a day's work. Yeah, ready for another day. Anything new scheduled in town today, Bobby? Well, nothing unusual, Daddy. Same old stuff. Ordinary, like uh, you ain't 23. What the hell are you talking about, Ewing 23? Well, didn't Bobby tell you? He's opened up Ewing 23 again. Is that true, Bobby? Yeah, well, it must be true. I just talked to the foreman. He said he'd open it up. Do you mean to tell me that you're opening Ewing 23? Yes, I am, Daddy. It'll be in full operation in less than a week. Well, I got a date with my wife. She's driving around that new car I got her. I'll see y'all, Mama. Yes. Oh, uh, good luck with country. Bobby, I've told you a hundred times that I never want to have anything to do with Cliff Barnes again. I'm telling you to shut it down right now. And you asked me to run Ewing Oil when I didn't want to. And I'm trying to run it the best way I can. If you don't like the way I'm doing things, fine. Just give me the word and Pam and I will be out of here in a minute. Right now, I've got a lot of work to do in town. Bobby! No, Jock. No, I'm going to pound some sense into that boy's head. Listen to me, Jock. What? Whatever it takes, I don't want Bobby to leave. Wave. Well, it's like old times, isn't it? Giving men having a quick one while they wait for the ladies to come down? Hmm? <laughs> well, what big deal did you pull off today, Bobby? Oil refinery, wasn't it? Seems like you got shot down twice. Uh, tried to get some money out of the cartel, and they told you where to go, and old Franklin Horner just flat turned you down. Isn't that right? Yeah, that's right, J.R. Mm -hmm. I can't say I'm surprised you know all that. What are you doing, bugging my office? No, that's not necessary. I've got friends to keep me informed. Uh, Dr. Yang here. Bobby? Yeah, he's here. Somebody named Les Crowley. Les? Hi, thanks for calling. Who the hell is Les Crowley? I believe he's a banker, Daddy. <laughs> Never heard of him. No reason you should. He's not our kind. <laughs> That's terrific. Yeah, thanks for calling. Well, I did it. Did what? I put the deal together. Well, maybe if you told Daddy and me what kind of a deal it was, we could get excited, too. Yeah, just, just what the hell are you talking about? I... Uh, Pam, I did it. I bought the refinery. Daddy, the Ewings have their own refinery, just like you always wanted. It's Jim Redfield's. Come on, we're gonna go out and celebrate. <laughs> Do you know what Bobby did, huh? Do you realize what he has done? Of course, darling. He opened up you in 23. Yeah, in 23. That's nothing. He bought a refinery. JR, just calm down. We've calm down. Don't you realize what this means to me? He has done something I never could do. He bought a refinery. Well, I don't know where he got his money, but I'm going to find out. I'm sure as hell going to find out, and somebody's going to pay for it. What are you going to do? I'm going to bring Bobby down. I'm going to cut him out if I have to destroy Ewing all to do it. Mm -hmm. 